just four golden dudes hanging out. Oh my goodness. This right here is the Poop Scooper 5000. This is a nice one. Every day, somebody around my house has to clean poop, and today, it's my turn. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at all these monsters. Let's go. Let's go outside. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Oh, that's a beautiful hole there. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my goodness. Look who's so happy. Keep going. Go, 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 go. What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Landon Sher. For those of you guys who have not been here before, if you guys are new, welcome. If you haven't met these crazy kids before, you're gonna meet them in a second. Maverick, Piper, Finn. Oh my goodness, they're coming in hot. Look at this. We have the golden angel babies here. We have them here. Hey, 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 don't attack the cameraman. Don't attack the cameraman. Guys, we have some big dogs over here. These guys are all over my channel, so you've probably seen them. But this is Piper, this is Maverick, the big dummy, and this is Finn, who is very interested in something down here. What are you smelling, Finn? What are you smelling? Finn is the youngest one of the group. She's almost a year old. Maverick is just over a year, and Piper's a year and a half. Look at this big baby, and look at this big, look at this big face. That is a face only a mother could love. But we have these big dogs here and I wanted to kind of go through today with you what it is like taking care of all of these big dogs. As you guys can see, we have a big yard, but I'm gonna show you what we feed them, how we take care of them on a daily basis, and well, how much poop they have. Because these guys, they go to the bathroom a lot. Just for a better close up on each one, this is Maverick, the big old boy. This is Piper Girl, the sweetest girl in the world. Mwah. And this is little Finny. She doesn't have worms anymore. I don't know if you guys saw that video, but she is doing good and so are the rest of them. So let's go check out what we feed them. So the dogs are behind these French doors here. It's kind of a nice setup because I don't know if you can see all the hair that's on this black shirt, but if they were out here on the couch all the time, they would just be getting hair all over it. And we do let them out to watch movies with them and hang out with them on the couch, but sometimes we just keep them over there because it keeps the hair down. Golden Retrievers especially shed a lot. There's really no way to deal with it besides getting a lint roller and wiping your shirt down, taking a vacuum and vacuuming the couch. But we have their food here. I don't know if you guys can see this, but this is a special dog food that I am developing for my company, Live Positive. You guys have seen it before. Live Positively products. We got a bunch of new stuff coming out. This you can actually find on the website. So what I do is I take our new line of food here or any hard food that you guys use, mix a little bit of water with it, that just makes it taste a little bit better, brings out some extra flavors. I think they seem to like it. Sometimes I'll add an egg on the top, but I'm not going to right now because this is actually gonna sit till dinner time. They've already had their breakfast this morning. And then what I do is I'll take this beef food topper or one of our other food toppers and I just sprinkle it over the top. Now, not only does this make this meal so much more tasty for your dogs and really is a treat for them, but it's so healthy for them. In this food topper is ground up beef heart, beef liver, beef lung, and beef kidney. It was freeze dried first and then it's made into this powder, kind of like a protein shake, but for your dogs. So that goes on the top of the food there. The water helps it to mix in and look at that. Doesn't that just look delicious? Well, I would not recommend eating it for people, at least this way, but uh, the dogs are all looking and they are very interested in what's going on. They usually get fed twice a day, sometimes three times, depending on how active they are. They are going to be smelling that, wanting it, but one of you is getting that for dinner and we're gonna have to make two more later. But with all of this amazing food and the treats that we give them, these guys make a lot of poop. So that's what we're gonna go do now. Every day, somebody around my house has to clean poop and today, it's my turn. So we are back outside and usually the dogs, this is where they go to the bathroom. 
Sometimes they have accidents inside, but they're pretty good about it. Maverick is not so good about it all the time. But as you guys can see here, we have some beautiful lush grass. Look, I could just sit out here and make grass angels all day in this beautiful yard because we have some of the best fertilizer known to man, and that is that stuff right there. Now, there's gonna be a whole lot more of that. I don't know how much we're gonna find because we have to clean our yard every day. So what I'm gonna do is get my special tool over here. This right here is the Poop Scooper 5000. You guys have seen different versions of this in the lion poop scooping video and the elephant poop scooping video, but this guy right here is perfect for ta tackling all of your dog poop needs. So what we have to do on a regular basis is try to scoop up as much of this as we can. I don't wanna to show too much of that, it's nasty stuff. I'm just really explaining to you guys what it takes to take care of these big dogs. And if you guys don't have a dog at home, this is kind of the work that it implies, but it's a full time job. It's just like having a little kid, except they're furry and stinky and they poop a lot. But I wanna know what pets you guys have at home. So comment down below right now if you have a dog, a cat, a fish, a turtle, a hamster, a guinea pig, a anything. Comment down below because I want to know. So we are just going around. That is nasty stuff. Not as nasty as the elephant, but nobody likes dealing with this stuff. It's just part of the job and taking care of animals. And another thing about going through and doing this job specifically is it's good to see how your animals are going to the bathroom. If they're having diarrhea, like an upset stomach from something they're eating, that's important to know. If it's coming out good and, you know, you know what the consistency is supposed to be. If it's coming out good, that's a good sign. So you do want to watch when your dog's going to the bathroom. Make sure they're feeling okay. Finn was pooping out worms in one of our videos. I'll roll a clip of that right now. I think we're going to open it here, holding our breath. Oh, this is gross. Oh my goodness. Look at the worms. Oh, it smells really bad, guys. I'm sorry if you can't look at this, but that was nasty stuff. But Finn, like I said earlier, is feeling much better now. It's just something that can happen with dogs. Dogs can get worms, cats can get worms, and it's just something you have to treat, and you'll only know that by studying your animal and studying when they go to the bathroom. We have walked around, this is not nearly as bad as the cat poop from the lion video. That stuff smelled disgusting. I think me and my sister almost puked because of the smell. But that is all we got from this whole yard and that's because me or my mom or my sister goes around and collects this poop. But we also have out here and sometimes the front yard that can get it too. We got some more right here and a nice one over here. Oh, oh yeah. And now we're going into the front yard because usually the dogs don't go out here, but I know Maverick took a nice one yesterday. This is a nice one that Maverick has left us and we're just gonna scoop it in just like that. Oh, nasty. But we are done and we have to dump this off. So now what I'll do, that we've cleaned everything up, and like I said guys, this right here is just from one day. Probably this morning and maybe a little bit last night when we let them out. So gross guys. But we're gonna put it in a bag like that, seal it up so it can stop stinking, and throw it away. Now, as you guys can see behind me, we have a beautiful lake, and you guys have seen the dogs swimming in here before. They've learned how to swim. It's an amazing area, especially for any sort of retriever, but most big dogs just love the water. Exercise is so, so important for these dogs. If you have a smaller space, it's very important to get your dogs out a couple times a week to walk them, run them, let them play with other dogs, let them socialize with people, and let them be healthy, active, and happy in the best way that you can. They love the beach. If you guys want to see them swimming soon, comment down below. And just like that, oh, nastiness. We are done. Now that didn't take us very long to do, but if you don't keep up with it and you don't 
clean up after them every day. It can be a real big 